Hey neighbors, hey, welcome back to the neighborhood and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how I'm seasoning up some chicken legs. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cook them yet, but I'm just going to put my basic marinade on it. So let's get started. Okay guys, you're looking at my chicken legs that I have washed, of course, thoroughly washed and seasoned. Well, not seasoned yet, but just thoroughly washed, okay? So now we're going to use some of my Island Girl seasoning, you know, and mix my own seasonings. So we're just going to generously sprinkle this on our chicken, okay? And as you can see, I already rubbed them down with lime. But just FYI, you see the slits? Just for, so that our seasonings can get into our chicken, okay? Actually, I should have taken these out. Let's do that right now. All right, so now all we're gonna do, we just wanna go and just make sure our chicken is seasoned properly. Okay. And make sure that seasoning gets all in into your chicken slits. All right. And I'm also going to add some green seasoning to this. Now you can use whatever seasoning you like. Again, I'm not quite sure I'm going to prepare or I'm going to cook this chicken. So I'm just going to put a basic seasoning on our chicken. Okay. And there goes our green seasoning. Just going to make sure we get all into our slits because we want well seasoned. <laughs> we want our chicken to be well seasoned. It smells amazing. When I say amazing neighbors, it smells amazing. All right. Okay. I think all our chicken has seasoning on it. And I'm just going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. By that time, I should be able to tell you what I'm cooking. So I'll see you guys in 30. <laughs> okay, neighbors, I decided I'm just going to fry these chicken legs. And actually, it's a request from Shawnee C. She wanted me to do some fried chicken. I normally don't fry food. I'm not the best chicken uh, fry, however, it'll be a decent fry. So what I'm doing, I'm just adding in a cup and a half of uh, self-rising flour. You can go ahead and use um, all-purpose, but I'm using self-rising because it gives it a crunchier crust. All right. So to this uh, flour, all I'm going to do is add in a half of... Um, tablespoon of my seasoning along with some black pepper okay there you go you like black pepper so I'm gonna close this up all right and just give it a little then we'll be ready to actually cover our chicken Okay, neighbors, I'm actually not uh, dredging my, or uh, wetting my chicken in anything, okay? I'm just going to put it in the bag, just as is. Okay, it's being seasoned and uh, marinated for about an hour, for me an hour. And I'm just going to put like two at a time because I don't want to overcrowd my bag. And then we'll go to the heat. Okay, neighbors, our flour, uh, all is nice and heated, so we're about to input our chicken, and we're going to dust our chicken off well, and we're just going to lay it there gently, 
okay? And again, I'm not going to overcrowd my pan. I'm just going to add like two at a time. Okay? I'm just going to cover this up to stop the splatter. In about three minutes, I'll turn it over. Okay, neighbors. I'm about to turn my legs. And actually, they're a little brighter than I want them to be. So I would say, you know, make sure your, your stove is on, like, medium. Medium high. I have to turn down my burner, okay? So three to four minutes, all dependent on your legs. Neighbors, thanks for stopping by the neighborhood. If you're new to this channel and like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscription button. Don't forget that notification bell. Until next time, be blessed.